Yo, what's up, baby? It's Forty from Can't Stop Art. So, <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know if it's a good day to record a video because I'm exhausted. I didn't get any sleep, but I'm excited about today's video. However, this is take two because I don't know. I must be that tired. One of the lights weren't on, and then I looked at it and I was like, "Oof, that's rough, huh?" Anyways, let's get started. So today we are gonna do something I've never done before, huh? So I'm not even sure it's gonna work. However, we did. I did a little bit of testing. I think it might. But let's see, huh? So what I have here is a canvas board, right? This is 11 by 14 inches. It was painted gray, then I hit it with splatter. The way I make my splatter bottles is I take a squeeze bottle, mix it with acrylic paint, water, and a medium, like a pouring medium, or a gloss varnish medium, or a matte varnish medium, your call, huh? The gloss and the matte varnish medium will dry faster than the pouring medium, so take that into consideration. Also, you wanna make it uh, watered down enough or or uh, the viscosity low enough so that it will whip when you, you hit it with your splatter. Huh? Anyway, if you guys wanna see a video on how to make these, then let me know and I will do so. So we have this here. That's all I did, huh? Hit it with the yellow and white splatter. The yellow is black light ink. However, in the end, I don't think you're gonna see that much of this. This is just to give it some foundation, if you will. So we have this, my, my idea. So actually, let's rewind, huh? So first, I have this box of crayons here, huh? <laughs> it is 800 crayons. And if I open this up, besides it smelling heavily like crayons, I still have quite a few left, right? I use this for an art piece that I made, and I'm gonna show you in the video. Uh, it's called I Dream in Color. And this particular uh, piece basically has crayons laid out, glued to a piece of wood, then resined, and I Dream in Color is painted on top looks super cool and if you it's still for sale by the way anyway um so i said i have a lot of crayons left let's do something else so yesterday i was playing around this is a test board obviously it's got i've done lots of things repainted repaint anyway uh but you'll see that there's wax on here from crayons and in this top heart you have to love the guys outside always honking on the horn just doesn't matter huh? in this top heart i used tape and you can see uh, the tape made it was removed easily, etc. So in the end, that would have been a good idea for this project, but it won't work for how I want to achieve what I want to achieve. Next, in this one, I use masking fluid. And if you look and I rub my finger, the masking fluid that's under the wax, it wasn't uh, able to be pulled up. It just stayed under the wax. So this technique, the only reason there's not a lot of drips in the middle is just because how I was dripping. It's not because it was protecting it, right? So... That won't work. Next, on this area right here, what I did is I put a piece of paper, I taped it, and you'll see that it, like in this little clumps right here, it went under the paper. Now, unfortunately, I think that's the route we're gonna have to take for my idea. However, I thought of another way that maybe it will work better. I didn't test this, so we're gonna find out. <laughs> and what I did here is I found a silhouette on Google, typed in elephant silhouette, and this came up as one of the clip art options. I printed it, I cut out the elephants, right? Obviously sized it to my desires or needs. And uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to tape this to the board. After I do so, I'm gonna take some black spray paint. I'm gonna hit it with black spray paint. After that dries, then I'm going to take some spray bottle pop, 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 and add some uh, splatter on the elephants. Next, I'll take some acrylic paint. I have two different types of uh, reddish purple right here. And I'm gonna use a spatula, hit it with a little pop, 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 and that will be the elephants, right? I will then let it dry, remove this, and by the way, the stencil that's gonna go on top is going to be applied with a adhesive, right? You can find this type of stuff in any art store. I'm gonna spray the back of this. This should make sure the paper stays down, right? Because if I just put it right here and wear gloves and spray, it still will go under the paper, but with this, it should make have really clean lines, right? Excuse me. So, when we're done with that, I'm gonna take this off, and some of this I'm explaining because some of it I'm not gonna do on camera. Huh? Like, for example, spraying a black spray paint, you guys are gonna miss that. However, I'll show you the whipping with the spatula, etc. Next, after it completely dries, we are going to try to glue these elephants on top of where they were right? And well, not glue. We're going to use the adhesive, right? And before I use tape and the wax got underneath, maybe with the adhesive, it will make it so that this sticks enough that when I peel it up, and what I'll probably do is cut the middle of the elephant and rip it off. When I do that, hopefully it breaks the wax or along the edges and it has a clean line. We don't know if that's what's going to happen, but let's see, right? So 
I'm gonna stop the video right now. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna spray this with black. After it dries, the elephant black dries, I'm gonna leave this on, I'll be back right here, and then we'll start adding the splatter, we'll hit it with acrylic paint, bada bing, bada boom, I'll be back! All right, so we're back. Uh, originally, I had decided to talk through this video, but then when I realized when I recorded it, well, a couple things. Number one, I wasn't even sure I was going to post this, huh? It's definitely not my normal style of art, and I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of how this turned out, but then I realized, or I thought about it, and I said, you know what? This is a problem many artists face. Uh, they do a piece of work and they're like, ugh, I don't like it. But then many other people do, right? And anyway, whether you like the end uh, result or not, maybe you find something useful in here, right? Because I ran across several issues. So uh, after I spray painted it black, I hit it with those splatters. And then I did some uh, uh, streaks with the palette knife, some acrylic paint. And at that point, I put the layer of the stencils on top, as you see right here, right? Then I started cutting the, the paper off of the these crayons and I realized that <laughs> in the end I didn't even use as many as I as many as I cut right I think I did three each and then I took a piece of paper wrapped it on the end because I was holding it with some needle nose pliers as I was doing this I realized that depending on how high you held the the crayon how close you held the heat gun etc all changed the way it interacts right plus if I shook the crayon in the hand with the needle nose plier then that made little uh, smaller splatters if I just let it drip bigger splatters again if the heat gun was straight uh, above the painting then the and the crayon turned perpendicular then it would drip straight down but you, it, it's funny you have to play with it right to get a feel so for sure on the left side here here. My original intention was to use one color of purple on that side, the other color of purple on the other, and then in the end I ended up putting both colors, both sides to mix and match. Definitely one side is more predominantly one color, but uh, anyway. Also, originally I thought this was going to make this cool dotted look, but the reality is that heat gun is quite powerful, huh? So even at quite a distance, the only way that it wouldn't reheat the crayons below that had already splattered or dripped onto the painting was if you held it quite high. And I didn't do that for a few reasons. Number one, you'll see that splatter is getting quite a bit all over the place. You can see the splatter around the painting. There's more splatter than that, right? Smaller dots hitting everywhere, whatever. And this is on my coffee table, so <laughs> I said, hey, <laughs> take it easy here, right? You'll notice it got a little bit darker, and that's just because different time of day, huh? This was an all-day event. So afterward, I wasn't really happy with the way it was. It was way too busy, so I hit it with some acrylic white paint around it while holding down the stencils. And after I did that, I lifted it up and I said, wait, I don't like how this looks either. <laughs> so I grabbed a paper towel, dipped it in some water while the acrylic paint was still wet. And I tried to remove a lot of the white paint, right? Ideally, I should have watered down that acrylic paint quite a bit and then just uh, painted with very diluted acrylic paint. And that would have given a softer look. But I decided, hey, I'm not giving up just yet, right? So I took one of these squeeze bottles that, and ideally, if I knew this would have worked well, I would have probably made a new squeeze bottle with thicker paint. This paint is a little bit too watery. So then I said, you know what, let's add some more dots. I did that black, I think I used red and white. And in the end, I wasn't even sure I was gonna post it, huh? I said, let me wait till it dries and let's see what it looks like. And in the end result, I ended up thinking, eh, it's okay. I hope you guys like this. Check out the final result in a second. Until next time, I'm out. Yeah. So here's where we're at. What do we do with this painting? Do I post this video? I don't know. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna decide then, huh? And if I don't, then I will do something else. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video, <laughs> regardless of how this turned out. You found it informative. If you did, share it with your friends. I appreciate it. Until next time, I'm out.